Hey friends, new and old, it's your friendship, and today we're going to take a look at Monster High's G3 Deuce Gorgon. This is an Amazon exclusive, and this came through the mail in a plastic bag mailer, and there is the broken box. So, for somebody who's a collector that and wants to keep it in the box, that might be a problem when ordering through Amazon because of it being a damaged box but for me i take everything out of the box i really enjoy seeing the toy um so this doesn't bother me but just a heads up for other people who it might not be what you want the box to show up like well we can see his new artwork here i'm not a big fan of his artwork I do like how they did his name though, and the heart with the snake around it. We can see his little rat friend Perseus over here. And he comes with a bunch of accessories. On the side, we've got his shoes, a snake, uh, looks like a Medusa bag. Um, We've got his phone, the snake car, another snake, uh, a thumbs up with a snake around it, and his bag. On the back, we can see his full artwork here with Percy's on his shoulder. And it says Deuce Gorgon's monster type is a ghoulist Gorgon. Monster must-haves are sunglasses and snake hair wax, and his monster pet is Perseus. We can see the other ghouls hanging out over here. And on the bottom, this is how the PC looks from Amazon. You can see Monster High 2 Squirgan Doll, Amazon exclusive, new item. Um, I don't know if that helps you. Let's go ahead and get Deuce out of the box and take a closer look. All right, and we've got Deuce out of the box, and let's take a closer look. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Let's see if we can bring in some more light to see. All right, so with Deuce, we don't have any brushable hair. It's all molded. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven snakes on his head. They all have like snake scaling and the rest of his hair one is snake scales. He's got nice ears. And look at his eyebrows, these green eyebrows. You can see the hairs that they painted on. He's got really nice eyes and eyelids. The snake eyes are really nice. And he's got like a darker green lip. You can lift up these snakes and you can see the other part of his hairline and his other ear is there. He does have neck rotation and he has shoulder rotation. He's got elbow rotation and wrist rotation. He doesn't have a chest joint. And I'm going to lower this down a little bit. He is wearing a dark green snake patterned denim jacket. And it has this orange and black snake coming down the arm here only on the one side his sleeves are rolled up he's got a collar he's got some pockets and the pockets are actual pockets and he's got this snake wax that's for his hair and you can see a little snake all the way around it it doesn't open um, but it looks like it could open right and he can hold it in his hand, you know, or we can simply pop that right down in his pocket. Let's see if it'll fit. 
it doesn't really fit, but you know, <sighs> it's an option. <laughs> And underneath his denim jacket, he has a tank top on um, that is this grayish black uh, material, and then it has a purple snake face on it. The back of it is all Velcro, and underneath we can see that he's got a muscle body, no chest joint. Um, he doesn't have a Hip. like we can't turn him any other way so there's no uh, joint here at the waist but he does have hips for his legs so his legs can bend and he's got knee joints and he's also got ankle joints his pants are like a sweatpant material not sweatpant but like um like a jogging pant like um joggers <laughs> if you know you know he's wearing joggers um so there's a snake skin pattern down here and he's got a purple snake coming down this leg snake pattern down here and his shoes our little sneakers, we can see the snake fangs here on the back, and we can see the snake face right here. Two eyes and the teeth, and the head right there. And then there's another snake head on the tongue right by the laces. Underneath his shoe, it is just a snakeskin pad. He's got some pretty cool shoes. Let's take his shoe off and see what his foot looks like. This is a little bit harder because he's got that ankle joint. I'm afraid of pulling his foot off. Come on, give me your shoe. Give me that shoe. Okay. So this is what his foot looks like normal, normal human foot. After finding out that Torlai had clawed toes, I said, I've got to look at everybody's foot. Let's get his shoe back on. Okay, so he's got his shoes back on. And let's get him put back on his stand. Easier to put him on this if it's underneath that jacket because he's a little bulky. Okay, so we've got him on his stand. He comes with an apron that is a lavender snake pattern apron. It's got ribbon ties for when he's working at the coffin bean. So there's another apron he can have. We did show you the snake wax. He comes with his eye coffin. He's got a really nice screen printed on there, but you can see that the screen kind of comes over on the snake part of the case. And the snake has painted eyes and a tongue. And on the back, you can see the snake's just crawling around on the eye coffin. Very cool. He can hold his phone. You can see that there. He does come with his sunglasses and they are black and they have little snakes for the earpieces and the snake head wraps around the front. Can you see that? Very cool. We can put those on. It's a little difficult because you got to lift up these and see where his ear is. Um, but you'll get it. And then put them right over on that side. And then he's got his glasses on. That looks a little more like Deuce. I love 
this deuce. I love him as green. I think that's great. I like his style of snakes. I love his eyes, his eyebrows. I think this is the best deuce, my opinion. Uh, he does have a really cool water bottle with Medusa on the front of it and the top. Wow, doesn't come off. Most of them did. Uh, so he can hold his water bottle too. We've got a finger hole there for him to hold his water bottle. And he comes with this cupcake from the coffin bean that has snake frosting on it. Well, a little chocolate cupcake with some snake berry frosting. Ooh. And he can hold his cupcake in his hand too. And we've got his pet, which is Perseus. He's a little punk mouse. Look at his little purple mohawk. Got a little notch out of that ear. He's got a little leather vest on. Two tails. And look at this arm. He's got a little snake tattoo. His arms um, do move just a little, but they do move a little. Super cute. And then the last thing that Deuce came with is this big crossbody bag. It does have a snake skin pattern all the way around. All the way around. And a big snake and two snake tails on the front. It does open in the front, so you can put some of his accessories in here. We're going to put his wax and his water bottle in his bag. That water bottle doesn't fit in that bag. His wax does, but the water bottle, I don't think you're gonna fit it in the bag. It, um, you really can't put a lot in his bag. So his wax is in his bag and it unbuckles and we would put it right across his body like this and hook it in the back. And then he's got his bag on. That's the way it's pictured. Um, I don't really like it on the front, especially because he's got a cool t-shirt. Um, let's try maybe Doing a crossbody through the back and having it attached in the front. And then he's got his bag on like that. That works a little better for me. All right, what do you think of this deuce? Do you like him? Do you like the changes they've made? I think he's a really cool. I hope that we do see a boy doll with a chest joint. That would be interesting to see. And I really hope that we see the girl dolls or the ghouls um, have ankle joints. That would be nice. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed hanging out, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, click the notification bell so you never miss the next time we post a really cool toy video. And if we aren't friends yet, you know exactly what to do. Hit that subscribe button and stick around. Until next time, bye.